Okay, internet, I know you're gonna hate that I say this, but it's gotta be said. If you look online, you'll find a lot of information on a gene called MTHFR. Many sources link MTHFR to hundreds of common conditions. When these studies were done, we didn't realize that MTHFR variants were so common. Around 50% of Americans are carriers of an MTHFR variation. MTHFR has very limited clinical use, and groups like the American College of Medical Genetics suggest that we should no longer be testing for it. One one concern is that the MTHFR variant test has become common outside of the medical community. The test is often done to help sell expensive supplements. Please, I am not invalidating the experience of a person who has chronic illness. When Western medicine can't give them any answers, a lot of people will turn to alternative forms of medicine, which can be really helpful. But when they're found to have an MTHFR variant and told that it's the cause of all of their issues, it becomes part of their identity. When you suggest otherwise, it can feel like a personal attack. So if you feel attacked by me right now, it's not that you don't have an illness, it's just very unlikely that it's caused by an MTHFR variant. There are some extremely rare MTHFR variants that do have significant risks on someone's health, but it's not the ones that are tested with the direct-to-consumer tests like 23andMe. So talk to your doctor or genetic counselor if you have concerns about having one of these extremely rare variants and what it means for your health.